Uh, Last time I'm football manager 2016, Gracetown were on the bottom of the division. Entrenched there after a lot of losses and played against FC United, the rivals. I managed to climb out of the relegation zone after a lot of research from my team. They played a lot better winning in a 3-1. Now they are outside of the relegation zone, but their next challenge is against Boston United, who are on top of the division. The second round of the FA Cup was also drawn, which showed that Gracetown will be playing low stuffed in the future. That won't be this episode though, because I will be focusing on two league matches, which are against Boston United and Worcester. Both really tough matches, but both really important if I want to stay out of the relegation zone and keep the team's confidence up so we can play in that FA Cup and get a good win. And I need to win in the FA Cup. I also need to stay out of the relegation zone if I want to build this club for the future. Oh, what's this? Workington want Mills on Malone. They want to pay 100% of his wages. Now, if I want my team to be stronger for the future, then I need my team to get a lot of experience, even if it's at other clubs. So I need to learn them out, especially if it's for 100% of their wages. The question now is, do I need Mills? At the moment in my strategy, Mills is the best defensive midfielder in the, on the team. You can see that here in the squad depth, Aaron Brown is a better midfielder than him. What the hell? The guy can play everywhere. But I am playing Aaron Brown as a central defender at the moment while the main defender is injured. So I kind of need him. And they want him as a rotation. They don't want him to be in the first team. So I'm going to try and negotiate this. Because I don't want him to go there and waste his time there. I want him to become a better player for the future. So I will negotiate that. And hopefully they come back and they agree with that. Now it's time for the match against Boston United. Now look. I'm not changing the strategy. I'm still going to use the same strategy which let me win against FC United because I put a lot of thought into that strat. So this strat is not made against Boston United, but it is made to complement the team's strength. So this might be a mistake. This is the strategy I used last time, but I had Caruthers back in a left-back defensive position. Anton Brown was there. I will have to stick with that. And something I do really need to focus on are the subs. Because look at this, a lot of the subs are really unfit at the moment. I need to get their match fitness back up. That's just how I'm trying to get some depth in this team so we can be better prepared for the future matches. This time I'm playing against a 4-1-2-3 wide, so that means Curtis Hartley and Chris Caruthers are going to be under a lot of pressure. I think I might have made a mistake putting on Hartley instead of leaving on Courtney. Now seeing as how we're at home, we are the underdogs, I'm going to try to tell them um, I want to use the home advantage to our own advantage. So come on lads. Nope. They are. I suck at these team talks. I did not want them to play wide, but they are. Oh no! We were supposed to be marking that guy! Felix. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to do something about that. I'm gonna have to mark. I have to stop the crosses. Now, if I wanna stop the crosses, I did read a thing about this during the week that I do not wanna show them onto the foot because that just invites a cross or a long shot. I might be totally wrong there. I might have it mixed up. Because if they're on the. Well, let's try the weaker foot. Let's try it. This is a video. You know, I wanna help people. So. Let's see if that works. Oh, Jesus! They can score from free kicks as well. It's okay, we got the ball. Oh, come on. Deeds has not been a good player ever since he's joined the team. Like, he is supposed to be the best striker on the team, and he just hasn't really done much. Daly has been a better striker than him, and that's saying something. He sucks. He nearly scored a hat trick in the last match. Guys, get it! What are you doing? Nah, nah, that was... That was terrible. That was the worst defending I've seen so far in the league. I have to do something about that. But what? I could try play higher up, but that would mean the defenders have to run back a lot more, and I don't want to risk the team's fitness. Well, the team's alright. Let's do that, let's do that. Because I remember having pretty good, uh, a good history with playing higher up. 3-0, not even 20 minutes. Diaz, yes! Okay, Daly's fast, he can do this. Uh, Jesus, he's not fast enough, see that. Seven's left. Ah, uh, is that a penalty? Yes! Now, is this Diaz taking this? I think he might be the best penalty taker on the team. I can't see the name, I can't read it. Diaz, it is, okay. Nice! He grabs the ball and runs back. I love seeing that on a team. I'm watching Southwell in the middle there. Oh no! I can't defend against 
mistakes like that. 4-1. Oh, that's a long throw. I would like a player with a long throw. I have looked up a lot of, um, well, I guess this is kind of stereotypical for a lot of man football managers or a lot of people who play this game. Oh, come on, guys. Oof. Get it! I you don't even chase the ball! There really should be an option to throw a shoe at someone like Ferguson does, or did. Caruthers and Hartley have had a bad game, and they are both on the wings. So I, I need to do something about that. I need to stop stop the attacks on the wings. So for the second half, I'm going to switch to the team's 4-1-3-2 formation. This should have the team play a bit wider, so we should be more defensive on the wings, so they don't get so many crosses in. Really, it's just something different. I don't know how to beat these guys. The last episode was supposed to be a rivalry. This is going to be a rivalry if we don't get any more goals. Come on, counter! Yes, Daly! Oh, good, he's straight on the left wing. That's good. He, oh, he is fast, but he's also really crap. They are too close together in the midfield. Look at that. They should be spread out a bit more. Um, Diaz is useless up there. He's not doing a thing. Uh, maybe I should... Maybe I should just take him off. Bring in another defender, maybe? Uh, what if I do this? If I move Simmons over to be a normal midfielder with Taylor, I can put Diaz on the right wing and replace him with Curtis Reven, the youth. Oh, straight away. Oh, Diaz, you better not be awesome now that I just subbed you. Daily, please, you need to score this. <sighs> nice. Of course I just subbed Diaz, of course. That was an awesome pass, though. Great running by Daly. It was a great shot by him as well. A lot of goals in this game. <laughs> no, don't go for that. What are you doing? We lost to four goals. At home. We still haven't won a home match. What did I do wrong? Uh, I started off with the wrong formation, I guess. I should have been a lot wider. I should have focused a lot more on defending the wings instead of attacking them. I could have brought on the subs a lot earlier so they could, so they could get some match fitness in. So that's the loss. Boston move up. Gracetown stay in third last position. Not good. That's I'm mainly worried about the confidence. That's Gracetown's first heavy loss. I... Would you call that a rivalry now? If there's a new team and they lose so heavily against another one by four goals, then would you call that the start of a rivalry? I guess it's not an... I guess it's not a key match. We didn't get demoted from that and we didn't lose an FA Cup match from that. But it's just a big loss. Please post a comment if you think that's a rivalry or not. So Workington still want Milnes. Uh, I think the situation has changed. I think that really, that I think that last match really showed that we do need a defensive midfielder. So this just hurts. I have to reject that offer. And not only are the fans not happy with Caruthers' performance lately, the journalists aren't happy either. So I'm going to actually go to Caruthers. And the whole strategy with this season is I want to develop for the future. I want to save money. So I'm going to try find one week's wages. Let's see what he thinks about that. Good. So he should. He should play a lot better. He's supposed to be one of the best players on the team. Now with only two days break since the last Boston match, we got to play Worcester who are currently in 10th position. This is yet another home match and Worcester are the favourites. We really need to win a match. We really need to win a home match, just just for the fans, because that's how we got earn a lot of money by fans coming into the stadium and giving the gate some money. So same as last time, except I'm going to bring Chris Caruthers off for Kennedy, just so there is a bit of fitness. Now for Worcester, I know that Ashley Vincent is their best player, so I'm definitely going to close him down so he will be crossing less. Now Palladino suggests that we try and prove a point, so I'm going to be calm, go out there and show the world you have what it takes. Oh, something like that. Nice Palladino. Why are you doing that, Kennedy? Don't freaking play English football. English football has a stereotype of just hoofing the ball up to the strikers and expecting them to win it in the air. And it's classed as a really boring brand of football. But in the lower league management, that kind of style is almost encouraged. What the hell? Get him! <sighs> What's Aaron Brown doing there? Didn't I replace him with Deards? No, that's Iboa, okay. Oh, nice, Courtney! Oh, 
Oh, look at that, Kennedy. Nice. Okay, passing it to Daly on the on the wing. Jeez, he's really far out. I don't know if Daly has a good cross on him. He does. Brown. Yes. Oh, nice header. I love seeing Brown as a striker. He seems to play so much better. It's just nice to have an attacking threat on the team. I know there's daily deers and everything, but you know it's always, it's exciting to watch Brown play. Oh, nice. Team looking confident. Daily, do something. Oh, nice try. Oh, uh, we we're winning at half time in a home match. Uh, things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. Yes. Okay. You know, I need I need as many green arrows pointing up as possible. So uh, a win would help. Oh, Circa taking a free kick there. Daily, go. <laughs> that was beautiful. I don't like Circa taking those kicks on the wing. <laughs> it's a goalie. Oh, that was there to celebrate, I guess. Oh, your bow is doing well at the back. Uh, who's this? Oh, it's Courtney. Nice. Oh, nice try. We have almost completely shot off their wing. Oh, no, we haven't. Here it is. Vincent and Courtney, that's the big match I want. That's the big match we need to win. Oh no. No! Oh! Nice kick. Oh, nice pass to Raven on the wing. He can do something here. Oh! Oh! Oh, where the hell did Deeds come from? Oh no. Ah, oh, Daly's unfit. Yes! First home win! Good! And look at all these green arrows. I like that, but I don't like this. The condition, there are a lot of unfit players here. We have got almost a whole week until the FA Cup match. Tell everybody they did well. They've shut a lot of people up after that. That was really special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificently. Congratulations. Oh, yes! Okay, I love that. I love that colour. And Gracetown move out of relegation zone. They are now in 18th position, right below FC United. And Lowestoft, which is the next match which we will be playing in the FA Cup, they are in 7th position, so they just lost their match. That's good. We won, they lost. FA Cup is next.